So there's this subjective understanding of truth where I can't necessarily judge uh, your value system or, or whatever else. We're told that this has led to an age of, of toleration. Uh, and, and yet, a, a lot of those folks who espouse, I, I think, a, uh, maybe a postmodern moral relativist view, uh, use the words ought and should and must um, mm. quite a bit. So how do we arrive at that, sort of a didactic uh, moral relativism? It's a very a good question that um, it is obviously a part of human nature to affirm ourselves through moral judgments. And when people t uh, adopt the view that all moral judgments are relative or subjective, um, they turn that into an objective morality too. Uh, so it becomes a kind of sin to be other than a relativist. You know, some, uh, and you see this happening especially in things like the European Court of Human Rights, where it, when you, fi you find people with old-fashioned objective systems of values constantly being uh, called before the judges and reproached for the fact that they are discriminating against people who don't share their values. Right? So it becomes ever more difficult to retain those old-fashioned objective views of what morality is without being condemned on moral grounds for having those views. Uh, so that subjective, a kind of subjectivism becomes a, a moral norm. So it's not that people have really given up on the idea of objective morality, it's that they're making a, a certain kind of subjectivity into an objective morality. It's a kind of par paradox, uh, uh, and you see this paradox already in Nietzsche, uh, and people like that who, who um, Nietzsche affirmed this, some, something like a, a subjectivist view of morality, that, that what matters, he says, is, uh, is to will your own desire as a law. You know, it's your own desire and the will to power that is expressed through it. That's the essence of the moral position. But of course, the, uh, Nietzsche very quickly turned that from a doctrine of liberation into a doctrine of condemnation. Condemnation of all the people who couldn't live in that way and needed the support of an objective framework. Right. Uh, and I think you're finding that happening now in the, the kind of moralism that surrounds the European enterprise.